Hey everyone, Katie here from Thrift Your Heart Out, and today I'm bringing you a bit of a different video, but it's one that I thought that you would enjoy. So I think there's many of you out there like me that are fully obsessed with your planners. Like, raise your hand if you are obsessed, like I am. Like, yeah. So I love everything planner related, highlighters, stickers, washi tape, what have you. I am fully invested right now and totally willing to admit it. But I just think it's so much fun to think about different themes to use for the week when decorating your planner and just use a little bit of creativity for something that could otherwise be really boring. So I just thought it would be really cool to bring you guys a little haul of planner accessories that I've found lately. In addition to budget ideas for how to organize your planner supplies, and you know I even incorporated some items from the thrift store, like I can't help it. So I hope that you guys enjoy and let's just get to it. And just a little FYI, the planner that I use is actually the Passion Planner. So they've got the regular size like I have here and then they also have a compact version. But I did a ton of research before the start of the year and actually ended up asking for this one for Christmas. And I settled on it because they ask you to set a goal at the beginning of the year and then they have check-ins at the end of every month and then halfway through the year and then toward the end of the year to make sure that you're actually taking steps toward accomplishing that goal. So I just thought that was really cool and made it different than your average planner that you see out there. And it was also a lot more affordable than some of those other options that are like $70 and $80, which I am just not willing to pay for a planner that you're going to get rid of in a year. Um, so this one was only $30, bucks, which I think is just a lot more reasonable and doable for the average everyday person. Um, and I love that there is still a lot of room um, to be creative and to add my own flair to every week and the monthly spread and just make it my own. So that's what I use. I'll make sure to leave a link to their website down below so you can go and check it out and see if it might be a good fit for you. And just so you know, it's not sponsored in any way. This video is totally all my opinion. This is just a planner that I use, so I wanted to make sure to share it with you guys. So what would a planner be without washi tape? And I've been loading up on quite a bit lately, even though this one was a gift of 12 that are just so darn cute. I love the glittery ones and the polka dots, of course. And then I kind of loaded up on some from Hobby Lobby. So there were these cute pineapple and polka dot ones that I've been using for the summer. Like, how cute is that? Ready for a party. And then these really adorable little um, thin ones that are great for kind of the weekly spread. And I like the words on them too. I think that's a nice addition. And then I got these guys from Daiso, which is like a Japanese dollar store. So I found some music print ones, uh, these ones with the bunting, which I just think is adorable. And then of course, cute little hearts, so I can't wait to use these guys. And then I also picked up some sticker sets. I got these guys with the flamingos, uh, which I just think are adorable. I love the gold and pink and teal colors in it. And then I got some kitten stickers! Oh my god, I cannot even wait to use these ones. Oh my god. And then I got these cool bottle cap ones, so they're all um, circular. But it's just like weird, funny, silly word and pictures, so they'll be fun to use. And then I'm addicted to these. They have like really sweet quotes on them. But I love the colors, I love the fonts, and I just love putting them on every week that I do. Um, and then I got some arrow clips just because they're useful. And then I also found these adorable page markers at Daiso and they're all animals. Like, come on, how weird are those? So on to how I store everything. So this is what I store all of my washi tape in. And I got this off of Amazon, but it's great because it's actually meant for eyeglasses. So it's got three separate sections as I'm showing you here. Um, so it actually holds 90 rolls of washi tape. Like I will be set for a while. So I've got it kind of divided into my white and black washi tape at the bottom with some stickers. The middle one there has my blue tape and my metallic tape. And then the top level has like my pinks and oranges and yellows and all of my glitters. Oh my god, look at them sparkle. So, how to organize all of the little tchotchkes that you need to bring with you. I picked up this pencil pouch from Thrift Town for only 99 cents and it's great to store all of my little paper clips, post-it notes, pencils and pens, highlighters, all that stuff that you kind of need to bring with you, um, but you need to be really compact. So this is just perfect. So 
So then I wanted to think of how to secure that little pouch to my planner. So I picked up these girls headbands from Grocery Outlet for only a dollar. And then I just took one, the little pink one there, and put it over my planner and stuck the little um, pouch in there. And it's perfect. It won't go anywhere. And that was only 20 cents. So I have tons of stickers, <laughs> so um, I picked up this coupon organizer for less than a dollar, and now I can keep everything nice and organized. So I have all of my little appointment ones, my uh, word ones with like upload film and to do, my little animal stickers, and my tiny post-it notepads, like it's all good to go and separated, and I just added some glitter washi tape for a little extra pizzazz. So guys, I wasn't kidding. I have tons of stickers and I needed to organize them and make them easy to see when I was working on my planner. So I picked up this little folder from Daiso for only $1.50 and it's great because it has all of these plastic sleeves. So I just popped each of my sticker sheets in there and now they are so easy to look through. I can just flip through the book, look for what I want for my planner and just know exactly where it is. I'm seriously over the moon about this folder and it was only $1.50. So I thought it'd be fun to show you guys what my planner actually looks like at the moment. So this is my August monthly spread and you'll see I put those uh, flamingo and pineapple stickers to good use. I just thought it'd be really fun for the summer month since we're getting toward the end of it here but I think it came out really cute. So this is my current weekly spread and you guys will see I tend to use about three to four different washi tapes for any one week and I just love decorating for the week and it makes thinking about what I have to get done in that time a lot more fun. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I organize my planner accessories and how I decorate my planner each week. It's always so much fun for me to do, and I just love being able to share this little part of me with you guys. So if you wanna see more videos about my planner and how I use it and decorate it, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and that way I'll know to bring you more in the future. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and happy thrifting. Bye.